how to register for a free Microsoft Azure trial account so you can practice Azure Cloud, get certified and earn a lot more. Welcome to this episode one of a multi-part video series with me Atul Kumar from team K20 Academy where over the next few weeks I'll be covering practical bite-sized videos covering Azure Cloud on things like how to create virtual machines including Linux or Windows machines, configure storage, networks and deploy databases or applications including high availability and disaster recovery on Microsoft Azure Cloud. Now these are going to be a practical bite-sized video series and we'll be starting with first by creating a trial account so that you can practice and see how things are actually done on Azure Cloud. So these videos will also be available on our blog k20academy.com forward slash azure01 or forward slash azure02 and so on. So let's first begin with the first task that is register for a free Microsoft Azure trial account. So let me first go on to the Azure portal and show it to you. So I'm going to azure.com. So rather than going to Azure for a student, I'll go for azure.com and hit enter. And then if you see here on right hand side, free account, click on a free account. Now you will get a create your Azure account free today. Get started with 12 months of free service and um, click on start free. Now you should have a um, email address registered with Microsoft online. So I, if I say use another account and you can create, if you don't have any account with uh, Microsoft here, you can create one. So I'm creating, for example, I've already have an account. I can create it as otherwise with K21 technologies at gmail.com. I'm not going to use this account. I already have created this account, but let's assume if I want to create an account and it say create a password for this account. This is, we are not creating a cloud account yet. We're only creating a uh, my, uh, account on Microsoft. So. I'm based in the United Kingdom, so I'll say January the 1st and then maybe a year. This is a dummy account which I'm creating, so maybe 1980 and next. And it will send me a verification code which I can get the verification code in the email address. And again, this is a one-time activity and right now we are not yet on the actual account. So I'm on that Gmail account and it, I got a confirmation saying Microsoft account, verify your email address. So I got a number 6013. So let's continue using this document or this uh, email address itself, 6013 and click on next. Now it's asking me a, before I proceed, just enter the content or this account here. So Y G J K S three and and click on next and now i'm back i've signed in now right now using my account k technologies at gmail.com i have a microsoft account right now and now i'm trying to create a azure account so first country depending on where you are wherever your credit card uh, the card is registered with the country so you make sure you use that credit card uh, or uh, the country where the uh, where the country uh, the credit card is registered. In my case, I'm based in United Kingdom. I'll use United Kingdom. My first name is Atul and last name is Kumar. And the email at that address that I used was k 20 technologies at gmail.com. So make sure you use the same email uh, which you've used here. And then phone number and then company VAT ID I have a company VAT ID, but then I'm not, I don't remember it. So I'll leave it optional field. I'll leave it blank. Click next. Now you need to make sure you give a phone number with a select a country, collect uh, correct country code and the phone number. And it says either text me or call me. So I'm saying text me and I'll get a message on this number, which I need to verify. So I'll click on verify code. And now I'm on a screen, which is my card holder name. So I'll enter my card name, Atul Kumar. Oh. And then I'll put the card number. So I'm going to, what I'm going to do is I'm going to stop the recording for some time. I'll enter the card number 
and or the country and click on next so i'm not going to show that uh, details here but make sure you have a, either a visa card american express or mastercard one of these three cards and another thing i've noticed is if you are from india or any other country that doesn't have an international credit card enabled make sure you enable uh, international credit payments depending on which country you are it might deduct a very small uh, amount uh, which is equivalent to as i said minimal uh, roughly around one dollar which will be returned back to your account so let me pause it and I'll come back once i've entered my credit card details okay so i've entered my uh, card number and its identity uh, verification by card it's already verified by phone number as well as by the card number and under agreement you need to say i agree to subscription agreement and select this if you want to uh, get the tips from uh, microsoft then uh, select this and if you don't want any tips or newsletter or any update then un you can uncheck the second button my suggestion to you would be keep it checked so that you can see any new offers new things or tips on microsoft azure click on sign up and now it's going to validate your account so i'm getting 150 dollar pounds credit which is equivalent to roughly around 200 dollars um, in credit from uh, from microsoft azure now i get a message saying that um, you're ready to start with azure and you can go to the portal if you scroll down uh, you can say join the demo of the c azure in action and it will tell you some tips and tricks as well here now now i've created my account and i can now go to the portal by clicking on this button here portal which is portal.azure.com and uh, because i've already logged in it may not even ask me to log in again but let me log out from here and this is the console uh, here which will be, you, you'll be able to access it i'm going to log in again and tell you a little bit about navigation so that you have completed this uh, registration part you if you want you can look at the tour and you can take a tour which says that this is where left hand side this is where you're going to create all the resources so it's guiding me now it will give you a glimpse of what to expect when where so this is where you go and create all the uh, resources like your app services your databases your storage networking all the building blocks for azure microsoft azure then you click on next this is where home page is and this is where to see all the services common task uh, recently used uh, resources or online training everything under this one single home page this is your dashboard and you can customize this dashboard to display what exactly you want to see on the dashboard so it's quite handy there's a mo mobile app as well if you notice we'll download this app as well later and then this is where you will have all the services which are av available from microsoft azure we'll see that as well in a minute now this is where all your favorites are you can set your favorites and basically for quickly going to that particular services so all your as your resources are under here on under favorites now this is where you can quickly search for any resource on here top and right side here any resources you want to access then this is where your directory and subscription so you can switch between the directories or use a global subscription filter to filter the resources in our portal i'm going to discuss a, about this a little bit later you may not need it right now then this is where you will get all the notifications which will tell like let's suppose we have just uh, created account if any services have gone down or if you're coming closer to your um, using all the amount that you have those all those things will be mentioned here then this is where you can go and uh, take help from uh, microsoft azure or reach out to their support team to create a support ticket and this is where your account details are so i've used ketonin technologies at gmail.com i don't monitor this email so please don't send any email to that i don't your email will be missed or not picked up so then you can click on finish here and this is what we have created a trial account on azure i'm going to cover remaining things in subsequent videos so big congratulations um, for understanding this now task on you is go and create a trial account if you don't have already have make sure you create an um, you create first a email address register your email address with microsoft uh, uh, website and using that email address then you can create a azure trial account so just to look at a recap we have already created these uh, entered our passwords we have entered your uh, de our details on this uh, we have entered our phone number. Uh, we have also entered the credit card. Now, credit card are important for you 
is to if you don't have a credit card you can create an account using a um, your uh, college email id or school email id if you're a student then you can still create an account but uh, without a credit card but in that case you will only get hundred dollar or i think hundred hundred fifty dollars um, credit for this and then once you're verified you can then be able to um oh let me see if i got an email saying welcome to your free account and whether we got a confirmation or not so if you see my email address i also got an email saying welcome your as your free account and this is where you will see as your live portal and understand the cloud fundamentals as well so uh, you've already taken a tour uh, you know how to log in now and walk through on the different services big congratulations that you've completed the activity guide one on creating a trial account we'll use this account in future now to create all the services so now action on you go and create a trial account and make sure you can log into the azure portal well that was me atul kumar from team k20 academy where we discussed how to register for a free microsoft azure cloud trial account now in my next video i'm going to cover first thing you'll be doing before creating any resource on azure cloud like windows or linux machines storage network database etc is to create a resource group where resource group is a collection of resources on which you apply identity and access management policies and configure role-based access control so you can control who can do what on that particular resource like virtual machine or storage network database etc and i'll see you next week with steps on how to create a resource group on microsoft azure cloud i'll see you next week